Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey. And let's talk about the DCEU because it's it's just crazy. It has been crazy and honestly, everybody is overreacting. Honestly, because everybody knew that WB was being sold off, right? Okay, great. So if you know a company is being sold off, you know a merger happens, right? Okay, great. So... Why is it different at what w, what Discovery is doing is villainous or wrong, but what Disney was doing with Fox is good? Make that make sense. Disney spent $71 billion on Fox, and Fox was in the middle of movies, productions for, for shows and animated movies that got canceled and canned, and studios that, that were owned under Fox got shuttered, Right? But I didn't see nobody, you know, crying and saying how wrong this is or what about the cast and crew of this and all that kind of stuff. But now, because WB publicly said, hey, we're canceling this Batgirl movie that, by in mind, none of y'all really cared about until literally three minutes ago. All of a sudden, oh, it's a bad look. It's a bad fit. Um, WB needs to bring her back. There's articles bashing WB and David Zaslaw for court for trying to course correct the company. Remember, they tried all of this bullshit before. Again, what have I what what have we said? They pushed Zack Snyder out of the way. They gave us Justice League, Justice League, right? Y'all didn't y'all didn't show up for that. They gave us Wonder Woman 1984. They y'all didn't show up for that. They gave us Birds of Prey. You didn't show up for that. They gave us Shazam. You didn't show up for that. You know what I'm saying? They gave you movies that were different and diverse and female-led and all that kind of stuff. And what happened? You didn't show up for it. It's always funny how, oh, they, they, they hate women and they hate minorities and they don't want to be diverse. And as soon as they were doing all of that stuff, y'all didn't like it. You didn't like it. Honestly, they were terrible movies. But they were they hired people who were people who complaining about oh they don't they don't like women or minorities or any of that kind of stuff. The studio threw whatever at the wall and saw what stick and nothing stuck really, you know. And I'm not bashing on on Shazam and Wonder Woman 1984. It has problems, but if you take out if you take out certain scenes, you can make the movie damn work. And retool the cheetah shit. But what I'm saying is that David also said that he wants the he wants the Trinity to be good again. He said it makes no sense that that we haven't had a Superman movie and Batman together in a movie since Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, right? So it makes sense, like, because I heard that they um that they haven't green light Batman too. And people are like, oh my God, it's a shit show at DC. What the hell are you doing? Why are you not? Re well, why would they? Why would they focus on another solo Batman project when they're trying to fix the Trinity and trying to have them as established characters in a shared universe? They want a shared universe where all three of the characters exist. You know, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. You can't get mad that they want Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman to be in one universe. So, why would you green light Robert Pattinson's Batman 2? You know what I mean? And, again, it it took a while for it to, to make its money. It was a slow burn, honestly. It really was. It was, it was definitely a slow burn movie. <laughs> but I'm just being honest with you. It, it was. You know, you can get mad all you want to, but it was. So the plan, the plan that we need to do, I mean, the thing that we need to remember is that it's a new studio. I mean, it's basically, it's, it is a new studio. Everybody was talking about, oh my God, what is WB thinking? What are they doing? They don't know what they're, they don't know what they're doing. And it's just like, well, yeah, because they have to clean up the bullshit that was left from prior, you know, prior people at the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what did you think was going to happen? You thought that it was just going to magically get back better? Of course, they're going to have to cancel certain things. There are going to be some some folks who ain't going to like certain things or whatever or whatever. But 
you got to do what you got to do, you know? You can't just get mad that a studio decided that they want to that they want to cancel movies and try to fix stuff that, you know what I mean? Like it, it is what it is, but that is what it is, you know? So I I don't understand why people are so venomous to WB trying to correct stuff. And yes, the old regime at WB, they panic. And honestly, I bet you if they probably let Zach had did his original plans and maybe, you know, hey, t- tweak this a little bit, tweak that a little bit, I'm quite sure the DCEU would be up there with the MCU. But, you know, hey, everybody panicked. Everybody panicked. They didn't like the they didn't like some of the negative backlash they were getting from from Superman and the Batman vs Superman Donna Justice movie, which self sabotaged that movie too, and some of the casting could have been off. But it's kind of funny how, again, when it came to the casting with the DCEU, everybody had a lot to damn say about the casting. But then when it came to Disney and MCU bitch ass casting, y'all asses didn't have a goddamn thing to say. Y'all was trying to tell people to shut the fuck up and deal with the casting. But as soon as DC casts something different, it's a fucking problem. Make that shit make sense. Make that shit make sense. Why is it okay for Marvel to miscast their characters, but then when DC does it, it's a problem? Oh, y'all ain't ready for that conversation either. Even though I'm over the race swapping and miscasting of characters any damn way for both DC and Marvel. But the fact of the matter is that y'all was really upset early DC. Early DCEU. Y'all was really upset at some of the casting choices. But Marvel Marvel has, has, has some questionable casting choices nowadays. And y'all asses all gone ho for it. Again... Make that shit make sense. Because it don't. Look, we got a 10-year plan. I don't know what David Zaslav is going to do. But honestly, we we honestly should give it a chance. Because ain't nothing happened. Ain't nothing been different since. You get what I'm saying? They've tried the Marvel way. Y'all didn't like it. Don't sit up there and say, y'all, y'all want them to do something similar to Marvel. And then they do it. And then you don't show up for it. The same shit that Marvel was doing, that's exactly what some of those movies were damn doing. And guess what? Nobody showed up for them. Because again, when it comes to WB and DC, we're very critical and hard on them. And it's not it's not right, nor is fit um is fair. But that is what it is, you know? And it shouldn't be. But honestly, it is. Crazy how that works, right? (laughs) <laughs> crazy how that works so let david fix the shit up ha- okay so we don't want so he don't want them to do um hbo max movies hardly so a lot of the dc shows he want to cancel them um and some people talking about he should get greg um berlanti or dark robot no you don't get neither one of them because the arrowverse been has long has ended for us you know because they start getting stupid with the casting too they start putting messaging in there and that's the reason why you know the cw's in the position it's in so no don't get greg berlanti don't get dark robot because his ass ain't did shit yet for y'all don't get james gunn either because he gonna turn the shit into a joke just like taco watiti no you need somebody that can focus on telling these stories. Someone who can look at a comic book and be like, here's our script. Let's make this shit live action. And you honestly need somebody. You need a consultant. You need a consultant on DC comic books. And I'm talking about someone who likes classic DC. Not nobody who likes some this new modern bullshit. Not someone who wants to put... LGBT race swapped characters or female female characters that are more important than the male characters. No, you need to put in a consultant that actually cares about the universe, that actually want to see the universe grow, that actually has a plan. Because right now, 
all the all eyes back on Zack Snyder to be honest because what who else who else is at DC? Who else at DC got something? No one. That's the problem. As much as y'all say y'all want Zack Snyder, Zack is the only one with the damn plan. And until y'all can um give me something different, I'm gonna have to you go with Zack. Because y'all tried bringing in Jeff Johns, it didn't work. Because he doesn't understand films compared to move. I mean, comics. Comics and film are completely different. He might have a good foundation of the universe of DC comic books, which he can be your consultant, but he doesn't understand film. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we need more of. We need somebody. We need somebody that actually understands film. But actually wants to tell a coherent um, DC movie. So what I would do is do Justice League two after Black Adam, and I mean, and Aquaman. Um, do Justice League two, right? This will give you a good opportunity to fucking recast Ezra and Amber Heard. Do that. All right, cool. Once Justice League two ended, then you can do the Flash, right? After the Flash, you do Man of Steel 2. Then after that, you do the Batman movie with Ben Affleck in there. That's where you introduce, um, you know, all the, all the cool stuff with Deathstroke. And that's where we um, find out that Nightwing is in Bloodhaven. Um, Jason Todd is a dead Robin. We're not even going to go with what Zach was talking about with Dick Grayson. That was just stupid any goddamn way. I understand he was trying to, he was trying to um, make it more emotional. Because it is Dick Grayson, but no, let's not do that. Dick Grayson over in Bloodhaven, Batgirl, Oracle, Oracle, um, Barbara Gordon is Oracle at this time in that movie, and that was spin off to what would lead up to a Batgirl solo movie eventually, but it will it will star Cassandra Cain. So after that, we were we're going to do a Green Lantern movie. Yeah, we're going to do a Green Lantern core movie because you need to do a Green Lantern core movie because after the whole Justice League 2, the Green Lantern core will want to know what is what is going on. Wonder Woman 3 will be the, I would say, like the Wrath of the Gods after all of the nonsense that's going on with Darkseid. They see that the world needs gods or something like that because what Justice League 2 is, it'll fix, it, it, it won't, it won't fix everything, but it it will it will stop dark side but dark side will return for another justice league movie does that make sense right okay so i would have wonder woman 3 be like the wrath of the gods and that will have donna troy in it as and then of course you have gal Gadot as wonder woman still um then you will do a trinity movie of course a trinity movie where you have batman superman and wonder woman coming together with three of their villains so i would go with the whole um cersei ray shagul and um god dang it, it's a it's a superman villain that i'm drawing a blank on right now but usually just take the dc rebirth um the rebirth run to the second half where ray shagul teams up with cersei and there's a there's a superman villain in that storyline that i cannot think of right now have all three of them team up because they're helping dark side you know prepare for the final thing because what will happen is um we'll have a we'll have a just league movie called justice league dark side wars so it'll be based off of the the dark side war from the new 52 but what we'll have is we'll have the um oh shit we'll have the what, what's that thing called What's the, what's the thing called? Um, I'm about to say, come on now. Shit. Oh, okay. I don't call one get over there. Um, the Dark Side War, because that'll be where it'll kind of be like the whole end. Because Just League 2 will still have to be like that nightmare thing. So, like, where the Just League messed up somehow who really cares but dark side war will be like where dark side officially gets everything right 
but before then, we'll also have, um, we'll also have like a, we'll also have a Justice League versus the Crime Syndicate because, oh, wait, no, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry, let me scratch that. We will have, um, what's that darn thing called? Fuck. I am Forever Evil. We'll have a Forever Evil movie. So you know how y'all was trying to build up these villains or whatever? So after the Trinity movie, you can have a coalition of the villains coming out where all of that will be leading up to um, introducing Pandora's box. And Pandora's box will be will open up the dimension to the crime syndicate. The crime syndicate will take over for a little while. So um, I guess this will be where Ben Affleck and Gal Gadot will probably still be around. Or whatever, but Gal Gadot will be a little bit more, um, a little bit injured. Batman will be captured, but then you know, um, with with the help from the villains, they team up, they free all the Justice League members from wherever the Crime Syndicate have, defeat the Crime Syndicate, and now lead even more into um, Dark Side coming to the Earth. Then you'll have to you'll do a Martian Manhunter movie. I would say do a Martian Manhunter movie. That way you can bring in a, a little bit more side characters with that as well. Um, just so you, he can probably leave the Earth for a little bit to see if other planets have been dealing with anything going on. That way you kind of explore his life on Earth with flashbacks, but also have like him dealing with, you know, um, seeing dark side destruction across the planets. If that makes some kind of sense. Um, then you can follow it up. You can follow it up with probably... I would say, um, let me see what I would say. I would say you can probably follow it up with maybe another Shazam movie, probably. Um, and then, of course, you do Blue Beetle, right? Definitely do Blue Beetle because that one looks good. So keep Blue Beetle. Um, you can use Blue Beetle as like one of the final stand ins for, um, you can use him like for some kind of reason for them defeating dark side at the end of um dark side war you know what i'm saying and then of course wonder woman 4 i would say wonder woman 4 will be dealing with the aftermath of the gods and then dealing with this new character called grail who is the daughter of dark side who is kind of like you know how raven was to try trigon she's kind of like that but she's basically like a beacon setting setting everything up in the final collision for everyone then of course you have um a nightwing solo movie that way you can bring in the other you can bring in so, uh, other bat characters but you know nightwing's still the main character or whatever and that will lead into like a teen titans movie because even though batman defeated deathstroke deathstroke knows that um bruce wayne has ki has kids other than the one that he lost, but it's in Bloodhaven, but he didn't know the connection until now. So now he's going after Dick Grayson because it will happen in Nightwing movie and then it will go into the Judaist contract in the Teen Titans movie, which he will accept, right? Because Starfire will be coming, the Teen Titans movie start because Starfire Starfire and Raven, they're going to be like the emotional linchpin because Starfire is coming, um, coming to Earth to warn them against the oncoming threat of dark side and then you also have raven because her father trigon has been in c contact with dark side in order to bring everything together right okay cool so then you can still do the judicia um you can bring them all together because deathstroke's son you know grant is trying uh is working with the hive to figure out who is these two new people on earth because raven and starfire just kind of appeared but yeah, you know, Dick Grayson is bringing his old friend. So you can bring back um, Wonder Girl, Donna Troy. You can bring back um, Red Arrow. You can also bring in Aqualad. You, you get what I'm saying? You know, the Teen Titans themselves with Beast Boy as well. Um, I know it's a little crazy, but, you know, all of these all of these movies that I'm saying are supposed to lead up into the Dark Side War. And that way, when that Dark Side War happens, that can create a, you know, the final battle for the DCEU because you can really do all of this in 10 years have that do something and that can create a rebirth a DC rebirth which creates a new universe where you will be able to recast the actors and actresses that you need to 
Or if you want to, you can go down the route where you have the characters have children and let those legacy take over if you really need to, but also still respect the legacy and lore of the characters. But I would just say recast, start recasting the characters anyway. So that way we don't have an issue like Marvel. You know what I mean? But that's just my personal opinion. I know it's a little rambly right now, guys, but I was just kind of like wanted to throw this out here right quick just to get my thoughts out and see what you guys are thinking. But, you know, I say let's be patient with what David is doing because, uh, you know, there's a reason why WB was sell for three, um, three times over. And there's a reason why David is taking over because obviously whatever the other times WB was doing wasn't working. So I say, let's be patient with it. But I know some people are probably like, no, screw that. I want the Batman too. I want Batgirl. I want Scoob. And it's just like, okay, give David Zaslaw's three, 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 um, $3 billion and you got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it is what it is. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.